Welcome to my channel, Scott's Garage HTX. Don't forget the HTX. And I got a new bike, an R6, a race prepped R6. But in order to let you know how I got here, we really need to go back about a month. Today, I am at MSR down in Angleton, Texas. The idea is Koto's not really having any more track days until April, at least not for me. And I don't want to go back behind the curve. I want to be in front of the curve. So today it's bright and early on a Thursday morning and I have a private coach and we're going to go out on the track and I'm going to try to keep myself from being rusty. I'm going to set the bike up. We got some other time, some more time before this, but we're going to do a kind of a track walk on the Groms probably. And then I'm gonna go out on session by myself, and then he'll come out there just to get familiar with the track, no speed. And then we'll start the lessons. Let's get started. any fun let's see what we did to the bike we'll go in here and check it out real quick so real quick the tail section looks a bit beat up but it's mainly cosmetic i don't know what that wire goes to but we're probably going to go to a different uh instead of this nrc unit right here maybe go to a different unit anyway on this it's a little bit more even more tidy I think the handlebar's bent. If you look at it, it's just got a slight curvature. 
you can really see it really, I don't know, maybe from that angle. And down below, boy, it's going to be hard to see, but the stop down below is missing. I don't, you can probably better see it this way, right there. Let me see if that's picking it up. But you can see that silver spot. That's where the stop would be for the handlebars and the forks. That really looks to be it, quite honestly. There's not much, I mean, other than brushing and buffing out a little bit of the dirt off the front fairings. So, overall, not bad. Let's go over this bike. Again, I had stated that this was Cody Wyman's bike at the Champ School, so it's got a bunch of goodies on it. And, start it up. Ah, it's cold today. I got Renthal medium grips. That motion pro throttle that I just mentioned a bit ago. Woodcraft rear sets. And I need to adjust those, obviously. I mean, they are in the utmost position and I need them in the downward, forward this away position. But I will get to that. I can't really get this bike on the track or ride it right now anyway because i'm waiting on some springs it's got a gale speed brake master and lever for the front gp thumb brake now that's a bit above my pay grade quite honestly i'll have to just kind of start playing with that experimenting with that while i'm on the straightaways right that's i think the best way to approach that Got SPS pads and Spiegler brake lines, front and rear. The bodywork, well, that's armor body set with a super bike seat pan. It's got a, I think it's Robin subframe on it. That looks really, really sharp. Quite honestly, a zero gravity windscreen, and REB graphics and paint. The engine, of course, we saw the exhaust. We heard the exhaust. Most importantly, Woodlitz race kit ECU, tuned by KWS. It's got a quick shifter auto blip on it. KWS slipper clutch and pit bull sprockets. I got spares as well as long and short extra chains silicone water jackets or water water hoses high pressure cap radiator guard i like radiator guards for the track and the street i highly recommend that and a grazed block off plates so basically i think that's worth a couple horsepower honestly when you're not sending all the exhaust back to the exhaust and emissions. I believe that's the way that works. Somebody can keep me a check on that for sure. So, I don't know, tell me what you think. You know, the, I got two sets of wheels. That way, if I want to switch, you know, maybe I'll put the brain tires on those. Uh, I, I, the, I, the, rear, the rear is at the shop, sorry. But there's the front. Ceramic bear, um, bearings in there. I think it's worldwide ceramic bearings both sets of wheels have them and right now i believe the front's got 120 and 180 
in the back and I will probably change that to 125 and a 190. Get a little bit more speed through the quarters. I know it's not as flickable, but for me and my weight, I think that's going to be the best for me. It's got a Woodcraft key switch eliminator. I do have the original key for it, but you know, I'll never put this thing right back on the street. You know, it's got an Olin's dampener on there. It has the warm-up mode. It has a, a pit lane limiter as well, which uh, probably won't really uh, apply to me on that. And what else did it have? Oh, lithium battery and a health monitor. I thought that was pretty cool. So I can check out where the battery is you know at any given time and it was blinking on the green now it's not there it goes so yeah i can keep up with the battery i don't really know how to maintain that battery like if i can hook up a maintainer to it or not i'll have to do some research on that hey somebody write in somebody tell me what i can do if i need to or i want to put a maintainer on that battery what i have to do if it's just really something simple or i'm making it too complicated There's also lots of goodies on there. I think I'm gonna to have to get, right now I just have bolts for the carriers in the back. I don't really have any cotton reels on the back right now, I'm just using those. It, it was works, but I'll probably set that up to where I have it. But it'll, be, it'll be a little bit easier. A little Scott tip for you. I have one of these sport chocks, and I know these sport chocks come in many different colors. I can't suggest them enough only get the crinkle black get it in crinkle paint because you get this in smooth paint you'll notice you know that piece right there and these pieces they they squeeze in on the tire which that's what they're supposed to do but on hot days and especially with slicks especially with slicks those things start to stick to the tires themselves <laughs> and, and and they you know you, you start it starts rolling with the tire every time you try to take it off and you can damage your fender and stuff like it's well actually it's just a pain but you get this crinkle paint and that does not happen a little scott tip for you i don't know you guys tell me what you think i can't wait to get it on the track but again i am not going to get those springs that's the even the x springs like a 90 and i need i need to go up like three levels i need to get a 110 and they can write in and comment about that but i'm pretty adamant about that that's even agreement with my guy who's doing the tuning for me. And there are no 110 springs in the United States. There, no, that's the correction. There's one, but it's already set for somebody else. So I have to wait, and I might not get that till April. So the Ducati will be on the track until that time. Just tell me what you think of this bike. It has been, you know, I can tell it's had a low side. Uh, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of covered up with a blue magic marker. <laughs> so but that's fine even i've got like three sets of woodcraft rear sets uh that were came with the bike and one of them is pretty scratched up on this side over here so somebody's obviously kind of laid it down that's but i can't see any damage to the frame i've done compression test on the engine all the cylinders are firing all the cylinders are the same temp um again i wouldn't want a a race prepped bike. I wouldn't want to deal with the hassle of that engine. This is a stock motor with all these goodies put on it. So, you guys tell me what you think. Love to hear the comments. You guys keep on, keep on. We'll catch you next time.